Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons. To alert you when to use caution. To replace the thermal cutout in your range, you will first need to move the appliance away from the wall and countertop. Now, unplug the power cord. Next, remove the control knobs. You can use wire or string to help pull them off. Use a flathead screwdriver to help remove the top panel retainers. Now lift the top panel off and disconnect the oven control wire harnesses. Next, remove the screws securing the control bracket. Remove the screws securing the grounding wire as well. Disconnect the surface element wire harnesses and set the bracket aside. Open the oven door and remove the screws securing the bottom of the control cover. Now remove the screws on top and set the cover aside. Pull the gasket free of the glass top. Remove the screws securing the main top assembly. Note the position of the wire harnesses. Then lift the main top assembly up and pull it forward to remove. Now detach the wires from the old thermal cutout. Remove the mounting screws to release the cutout. Install the new thermal cutout by aligning it on the duct, then replace the mounting screws to secure. Connect the wires to the new cutout. Reposition the main top assembly, making sure the wire harnesses are properly positioned. Secure the main top screws. Realign the gasket. Reposition the control cover. and replace the screws to secure. Reconnect the surface element wire harnesses. Realign the control bracket and secure the grounding wire with the screw. Replace the mounting screws to secure the bracket. Reconnect the oven control wire harnesses.
Realign the top panel and replace the retainers to secure. Replace the control knobs. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and carefully slide the range back into place.